Hi everyone, it's Lynn's wife from The Creative Cottage. I want to say thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I'm getting bad about doing these longer unboxing videos. I've been doing quite a few of the shorts, you know, under a minute, just showing individual pieces. But today, I'm going to try to go through this bundle. Um, I've been saving out all the gold tone pieces silver tone pieces, copper pieces, etc. So I've got a bunch of larger bundles to go through and then I'll probably end up listing this whole bundle on eBay, um, kind of like a wholesale lot. It's around two and a half pounds, I believe, of gold tone jewelry. Um, in the future video, I have to be doing some smaller lots. Oh, I've just got so much stuff Here's my cat. <laughs> I've got so much stuff waiting to get listed on eBay. Um, and I do have some smaller bundles. I've been doing these color coordinated bundles. And these are actually already listed on eBay. And I thought, oh, maybe I should do a video. So I've got about 15 or 20 like color coordinated bundles. I might do that in the future. Um, and if there's ever anything you see that you're interested in, if you purchase it through me directly through YouTube, you know, reach out to my email. Um, I can cut you a deal. Um, you know, when I list things on eBay, eBay charges selling fees. And if you're doing promotional listings to boost your items. Um, so I have to figure my prices to compensate for all that. But um, if you see anything in these videos, just reach out to me sales at the creative cottage.net just let me know what video you're watching a time stamp of the item you're interested in and um we'll get the conversation going i can do shipping around five dollars not for this one <laughs> this one's two and a half pounds it's gonna be more but uh like if there's individual pieces you see in this video just let me know also if you're want to see what i currently have for sale here's the address to my eBay store and all this stuff will be listed in um, the description or maybe I'll just pin it to the top comment. I guess you can do that. And I don't even remember what's in here. I might find that um, there's some sign pieces in here, which in which case, I don't know. I'm going to keep them in this bundle or pull them out and sell individually. It's a lot of stuff to list. I'd really just like to sell the whole lot. This is a really nice chunky gold tone chain. I don't see any maker's mark. It has a big spring ring clasp. Looks in pretty good condition. Um, let me see if I can measure this quickly. I just, yeah, there's my tape measure. This is coming in at about Let's see, 11 inches, so that would be 22 inches long. That's really nice just to wear as is, or you could put, um, you know, one of those little pendant bales on there. Kind of give you a little more versatility. Here's a cute little bracelet. Looks like it needs to be cleaned. Hmm, is that going to come off? Yeah, I'll have to take a look at that. Ooh, it's tiny. I wonder if that's a children's bracelet. Mm, yeah, it looks tiny. So I'm not sure if I'm going to list that one or not. I'll have to see if I can clean it up. And I think this bundle has a lot of just plain gold tone chains. So it would be a kind of good bundle um, if you've got a lot of pendants but without necklaces. Um, one of the bundles I purchased at shopgoodwill.com was an all pendant bundle. So I put the pendants on some with gold tone chains, some with silver tone chains, some I used into making some beaded necklaces. And I don't see any maker's mark on this one. It's got a lobster clasp. It's kind of this rolled gold tone chain. Looks like it's in very good condition. Get a measurement on that real quick. This one's coming in also around 22 inches total. Yeah, so that's the same length. You wouldn't want to layer those together. 
But again, it's just a good basic gold tone chain to wear as is or put a pendant on there. And I put some of these in individual baggies because I have a lot of chains and I was afraid they were going to get all tangled up. Does this one have a clasp? Ooh, this one looks like it might have a maker's mark. Uh, I'm going to have to get my jewelers loop out because I cannot see anything. Is this Avon? Yes, Avon. Let's see if I can... Nope, upside down. I don't know if that's coming through. So that's Avon, little spring ring clasp, gold tone chain, and then these little kind of gold tone knots. That's kind of cool. And that's much shorter than these other ones. So I'll get a measurement on this. Uh, it's about 16 inches. Let me know in the comments. Do you um, like to collect particular colors. I'm a real fan of copper and silver tone. Um, I know a lot of people like gold tone or do you like to sell um, your costume jewelry lots in like themed lots or color by color. Like if you go to my eBay store you'll see I'll have like um, mermaid core lots for a lot of like mother of pearl and shell jewelry. I've done barbie core or a lot of pink jewelry. I've done Gothic Lamb is one of my favorites for like the um, black and gunmetal color jewelry. So, and this one I might pull out of this bundle. I have a bunch of jewelry that's um, multicolored, you know, like all different color metals. So this one's like the satin, silver, and gold tone. And I have some pieces that are the silver, gold, and copper. So I might have enough to do a separate bundle. So after I do this video, I'm going to have to find some more just gold pieces to get that back up to the two and a half pounds. <laughs> like I said, I don't have this listed yet on eBay, so oh, this is cute. This is a black enamel bangle bracelet. What do you call this? Like a clamper. It opens like that. Hinges. Uh, I think it's stamped. What do I see? Gotta get out my jeweler's loop. Um, do I have this upside down? <laughs> like, I can't read that. Oh, Kate Spade, New York. So, yeah, I might go through some of these and with my Google Lens later um, to see if I should list any of these pieces individually. Um, so I might not be listing this bundle on eBay. After all, I might be doing some more smaller bundles and some, um, yeah, I've lost my train of thought there. <laughs> oh goodness. I think it's time for another cup of coffee. <laughs> this is a cute piece. It's, um, opaque white acrylic stones, gold tone metal. It's like a little bib necklace and yeah, it's got a lobster clasp with an extender I don't see any makers marks on this let me get you a length really quick so it's about 16 inches plus probably another three or inches three or four inches yeah it's got a really long extender chain there And this rack, I just got at a local Goodwill store um, with my discount. It came out to $3 or $3.50. Um, I'm in South Florida. The Goodwill stores in my area don't do the colored tags. You know how most Goodwills you go in and each week they have a different colored tag. Or like my Salvation Armies will usually have three tags on each week. Um, it's usually 25, 50, and 75% off. Um, the Florida Goodwills don't do that, at least in Palm Beach County. Um, everything's priced at, I think it's $5.99. So whether you're looking at a tank top or a dress, it's all $5.99. But 
for $25 a year, you can purchase a membership and get, I think it's 25%, is it 25 or 30% off all your purchases for the year. So what's that make if it's $5.99, $6? I don't know. It's like four, comes out to four fifty dollars per item. So now that I've realized this, um, it doesn't make sense for me to really get the tank tops or smaller pieces there. But if you're looking at, like, I found a, what is it, an Ann Taylor linen dress. I only paid $4.50 for. Or if you're getting, like, any jackets or sweaters, um, then I think $4.50 is an okay price to pay depending on the brand. But, yeah, I just thought that was really weird because all the other... YouTube channels I watch and I see people doing their thrift hauls and a lot of people have their cameras with them when they go into the Goodwill stores and it's always like, wow, what's the color of the week? And I was so confused when I went into my local Goodwill stores. I'm like, where's the color tags? Because America Thrift and Salvation Army in Palm Beach County do the color tag sales, but I don't know what it is about the Goodwills here. So here's a Leah Sophia piece. Uh, I like her jewelry. It's not that expensive, but I've got quite a few of her pieces. This is just a simple little um, pendant, a bunch of, what do they call it, pave, icy rhinestones, little disc, and it's also got the maker's mark there on a little gold tone ball chain with an extender and a lobster clasp. So it can go from it's about 15 to 18 inches depending on how you place the extender so I'm going to try to use this little thing to see if I can do some of these chains on it because I have a lot of necklaces in this bundle we'll see if that works out or not <laughs> I'm ever evolving on how to display these items best while I'm filming these videos this is an interesting piece um, it's antique gold tone really chunky uh, metal chain has some good weight to it and then it's got some glass beads so that's nice it's not you know how some of these chunky chains are really lightweight and flimsy this is not this is quite heavy and substantial and this is glass not acrylic but I don't see um, a clasp so I guess yeah I guess it's long enough to fit over your head let me get you a link on that Yeah, that's about 28 inches long, so that'll fit over your head, no problem. It's a good neutral piece to have. And then you can um, alter, you know, if you want the um, crystal beads on the side or on the bottom or towards the top. It gives you a lot of versatility. Let's see, what else do I have here? And here's a pair of earrings. Whoop. Nope, missing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I just had them uh, <laughs> backwards. <laughs> so I'll probably take these out of this lot because I'm trying to do more of an all gold tone lot. I think I have a kind of, um, that almost looks like faux tor tortoise shell. Yeah, so I'll probably put these earrings in that lot. Put that off to the side. Here's a real interesting piece the toggle clasp is at the front so it's actually used as a di design element you've got double gold tone chain the toggle clasp and a bunch of really cool beads looks like uh, glass and then these look like two tigers eye and I wonder if that's uh, like mother of pearl and that might be freshwater pearl hang on yep that's real Freshwater pearl. And is that glass? Yes. It's glass with goldstone. I almost was going to say, is that rutilated quartz? But I think that's, that's glass. So that's really nice. I don't see any maker's mark, but let me get you a link. It's coming in about 16 inches long. So I'll put that there. It's dragging a little bit. <laughs> and then I've got this big chunky necklace. It looks like gold tone and silver tone. See this little kind of serpentine chain that looks like gold tone? 
and this ball chain looks more like a um, gray or gunmetal color and it's got this cool little bead with blingy rhinestones and is that adjustable almost looks like you should be able to slide it up and down I don't think so and so it's finished like a tassel it's quite long does this even have a clasp on it yes it does it has a big honking lobster clasp extender and it's got a maker's mark is it Chico's? I think that's Chico's. Goodness, my eyesight. Yes, Chico's. Oh, yeah, really long. Hang on. So this is about 30 two inches long not including the little beaded tassel plus it has an extender that would add another three or four inches so that's quite interesting am I gonna put this put that down there for now I wonder if this is mostly necklaces ooh this one, let's see if I can get this untangled. Multi strands of gold tone. Eee. Gold tone chains. Oh, there. Um, so it's multi strands of gold tone chains finished with the bead caps, lobster clasp, extender. Don't see a maker's mark. And then the chains are all just simply knotted and then it finishes off with a long tassel that's really cool really long whoops I need to knock that see if i can get a length for you so to the knot it's about 24 inches and then the fringe is really long the knot and the fringe are another 10 inches plus the extender so um, I don't really think you need an extender on this one, but that's really cool. You know how they have like liquid silver? This one feels like liquid gold. <laughs> yeah, what else do I have? Oh, looks like I have a couple of earrings. Yeah, I've been putting t this bundle together for like months and months, so I think I forgot half the pieces I put in here. That's what I'm saying after I do this video. I'm going to have to take a closer look at some of these pieces and Google Lens some of them to see if I can um, get any additional information. So this one's really cool. Here's another knot. Um, so that last one was uh, that really long liquid gold one with a knot that was kind of an antique gold, whereas this is more of the bright and shiny yellow gold Let's see is this gonna focus yeah look at that chain this is like a serpentine chain and it looks like it's two strands and it's got this wonderful fold over clasp I'm really surprised there's no maker's mark yeah see the fold over clasp very nice i'll have to google lens this and then your little knot that's really interesting. But this is short. This is almost choker length. You know how that last one was really, really long? This one's only about 14 or 15 inches long. So, yeah, quite, quite short. But that makes it nice to layer with other pieces if you want to layer it with another medium to long necklace. So this next one, I think, has a maker's mark. Have it upside down. Should look at it through the loop first. What's that say? <laughs> Can you all see it on YouTube? Yeah, Napier. Okay. And let me get the clasp on here. So here's a cute gold tone necklace by Napier. It's that gold um, the serpentine or snake chain? I know there's a difference between serpentine and snake, and I apologize I'm not if I'm getting them wrong. And it's got these little gold beads all dispersed throughout. 
and it's got the lobster clasp, the extender chain, and again, there's the Napier tag. I'll get you a quick measurement on this. Looks pretty short. Uh, yeah, it's 16 inches plus the um, extender chain, probably so it's to 19 or 20 inches. This is kind of cool. So keep the necklaces a little bit apart from each other so they don't tangle up. Yeah, I know that's why I put these in the individual baggies. When you just put a bunch of chains into a container, well, you know, if you're getting the mixed jewelry lots from Goodwill or any of those first stores, all the chains just get all jumbly and tangly and that's horrible to undo them all. <laughs> so this is more of a, a rose gold color and it's got these little glitter discs that doesn't even look like rhinestones. It looks like silver glitter and little um, rose gold discs. The chain finished with a lobster clasp. Plus, well, it's got this kind of chain. You can really adjust the length wherever you want. So, yeah, I don't see any maker's marks on that. Let me see what the length. So you could really do this from probably 14 inches all the way to like 19 or 20 inches. So that's fun. I if I should put that here. Yeah, that looks cool. Kind of not, not to get you too dizzy. I had somebody comment on one of my first videos that I, um, they were getting dizzy watching my videos because I was always going zoom, 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 zoom. So it's like, well, I haven't quite figured out the best setup. So, um, yeah, that might be a little bit better. I hope I'm not getting you dizzy. <laughs> Trying my best here. Amateur video. <laughs> okay. There's that. Oh, I hope they have a couple of earrings. I see two unmatched earrings, but I should have the matches for them. Okay, what's this? Oh, I see it's three, three strands. This is the clasp over here. Hang on. I said it was one really long necklace. No, I just don't have it clasped. Okay, do I need to add a jump ring to this? Yes, okay. I need to add a, a jump ring. So it's got this little tiny jump ring, but that's too small. The clasp, spring ring clasp won't fit in there. So I'll put that to the side and fix that. But this is three chains, three different gold tone chains. So you got kind of a layered effect going on. And I'll get you a measurement. This is... Hey, come on. It's about 16 inches. So I'll put this right there so I know before I put it in the baggie to get out my box of jewelry findings and add a larger jump ring. I used to own a bead store many, many years ago. I used to do the craft store, uh, craft shows, and I taught classes, and I wrote how-to articles for magazines. Um, I think I just had bad timing because my kids were really, really little. Um, and now my daughter is, she just turned 28, so. <laughs> and she moved to Tennessee with her boyfriend a couple years ago, so can't use the excuse of having kids anymore. <laughs> so that's why I'm trying to get back into the jewelry on a part-time basis. Um, my full-time day job, while well, I was a content manager. Oop, there's my cat. Oh, goodness. Well, we'll see. If she's going to stay there, <laughs> it'll be okay. <laughs> she gets photobombing. So anyhow, um, I used to make jewelry years and years ago, so... Um, I still have a box with 
a lot of the findings and I'll make beaded necklaces and bracelets every so often. Um, you know, how you get in the mixed jewelry lots, a lot of times you'll get leftover pieces or broken stretchy cord bracelets and I can take all those craft components and make new pieces. So this necklace is marked Korea. It's got a fold over clasp. And this is the, I think this is a serpentine chain, right? When it's flat like that, that's serpentine. And when it's round, it's snake. Is that the difference? Let me know in the comments if I'm totally off. And it's got this wonderful little um, V-shaped rhinestone section. And this does not have an extender clasp. It measures about... 16 or 17 inches long. This cat. <laughs> I don't know if she's going to start batting all my uh, necklaces there. We might have to do this in a part two video. What am I up to? 26 minutes so far. <laughs> okay, so here's the first pair of matched earrings. And I've tangled them on to a gold tone chain. Yay. Ta-da! These little, uh, I think they're laser cut. Kind of a little laser cut gold tone leaf earrings on the little French hooks. I do have a earring display. I don't know if I can put this in here. Not that my cat's here. Let's move some of this. There. Does that work? Sort of. And did I see another earring? Yep. This one, another leaf one. This is more like the actual impression of the leaf. Doesn't that look like a real leaf? That's pretty cool. And then again on the little French hooks. Oh, now I've got the long hair people outside my window. I hope that's not coming through on the video. <laughs> Here's another pair of earrings. These are fun. Those are on the giant, what do they call those? The kidney hooks. And these are just little hollow mesh gold tone balls. Those are fun. And they have a rhinestone. Look at that. Oh, blingy rhinestone. Very nice. Let's see if I can get these on here. Mm -hmm. Is that another pair of earrings? Mm -hmm. Yes, but I have to get the little um, backs for them, so I won't put those on my um, hearing display. This um, lightweight gold tone um, squares, kind of cool, nice and dangly. And I'm not sure if I saw a maker's mark on these. Oh, those are Trafari. Is that with or without the crown? Hmm. Hard to tell. So those are nice. I've got a little bag full of gold tone rings. I'll just go through those real quickly. Oh. And again. Where am I going to put it? I do have this little ring display. I'm not cramming too much stuff in. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if these have maker's marks or not. What does this one say? Oh. This one is stamped 925. I do not think that's true. Because look how the gold tone has worn away. And that's not um, sterling. That looks like copper. So, I mean, it's a cool ring. Lots of blingy rhinestones. But, um... I'm not sure why it's stamped 925. I'll say that's an imposter. <laughs> I 
You had a lot of jewelry from other countries. Where is it? India? Where are they making the stuff stamped 925 that isn't really 925? This is coming in at around the size 9. So it's fun, but there's a lot of wear there. I might take this out of that bundle, especially since it's this is a 925, and I'm really pretty sure it's not. And then I have, I think this is a set, costume jewelry, kind of looks like an engagement ring set, I think, where you can stack them together. Ooh, that's quite big, though. So you can wear them together. I'm not sure if they go together. I mean, I'm able to wear them together, but me it looks like there should be something with a wider band for the middle one are these the same size even yeah they're about a size nine and a half so it's just this solitaire that's what that looks like I don't see any maker's mark on that one And I don't know what's that. What's that called when I know that's like a wedding ring set? But what's this called when it's it's not just the band, but it's not the engagement ring either? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't know what they call these, <laughs> but it's in pretty good shape. Um, don't see anything wrong with it. Like I said, you could wear it with this, but I don't. I'm not 100% convinced that's the ring that was meant to go with that one. So, whoever ends up with this bundle can make that determination. <laughs> Here's a really cute little rhinestone ring. It's quite tiny. Yeah, I can't even get that all the way on my pinky finger. Let's see. Uh, about a four and three quarters. Don't think I see any. Oh, I do see something stamped, but this band is so thin. I can't really make out what it's trying to say. <laughs> Looks like spaghetti scratch to me. Hmm. Mystery. Mystery, mystery. Here's another blingy costume jewelry ring. Kind of looks like a fancy engagement ring. Looks like it's in pretty good condition, but it's also Tina Tana. I'm guessing that's another like five or five and a half. Yeah, it's about a size five. And I do see some markings on the band. There's another one that says 925. I just don't believe that's 925 you know Vermeer over sterling it does not look like Vermeer it looks like that other one that was just a gold wash over copper um more imposters oh here these are the imposters there these two on the left are both stamped 925 but I don't believe that not for a second. Ooh, this one's fun. Big, um, almost like a smoky gray stone, gold tone band. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. Uh, another tiny one that's probably around size five or so. Or do I just have fat fingers? <laughs> Maybe it's not that tiny. Yeah, it's only like a four and a half or four and three quarters. Uh, I think that's pretty small. No. And this is stamped. 18 karat HGL. What does that mean? Like gold filled? 18 karat HGL. Because I don't think that's 18 karat gold. It looks like glass to me. I don't have a pressy. I mean, it could be smoky quartz, but um, 
If that's 18 karat gold, I think it's just gold fill. I don't know. Maybe I got million dollar rings here. <laughs> that lady says it's all fake and it's like, let's buy it. It's real diamonds and gold. <laughs> so whoever ends up with this bundle might be getting a great deal because I don't know. <laughs> Here's a chunky gold tone chain bracelet. And it's got this little um, cross charm. Oh, that opens up. Oh, I wonder if that's like a prayer. If I can even see that with my... Uh, Forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, etc., etc. So that's cute. Little prayer bracelet there. Oh, see, my cat's being okay. She's almost half asleep there. We're getting ready to attack. I'm not quite sure which. <laughs> Here's a fun little gold tone bracelet. Oh, thin hammered wire. Uh, it's got a little kind of peachy, orangey, guessing acrylic stone on one side and then a little leaf on the other. It's so thin, I don't even see where they'd have room to put a maker's mark. Checking with my loop just to make sure. And I'm not even going to try to put that on. That looks like a child size bracelet. Um, I mean, I'm sure it will open a little bit, but I don't want to stretch it out to fit over my big bear paw hand. <laughs> Where am I gonna put that? Oh, we're in another room. Oh, we're at 37 minutes, okay. Um, here's another basic gold tone chain. Like I said, there's a lot of chains in this bundle, so um, you could either wear them as is or wear them with pendants. This is a cool clasp. What is that? That's not a lobster clasp. I know, I think somebody told me one time what what that kind of clasp is called. Or maybe it's just a fancy lobster clasp. What do I know? So this is more... What's this chain called? It's kind of like a serpentine... My thing's not focusing. There. So a good classic gold chain. Wear as is. Or add a favorite pendant to it. Measures about 22 inches long. I think all these all all I have left is necklaces. I think maybe another bracelet or two. Oh, this is fun. Does it have a clasp anywhere? Mm. Oh, yeah, I think that is that a clasp? Hang on. Nope. Oh, no. These are just uh, kind of like a rose or a flower. Then these little discs. Then there's another rose or flower. More discs. Then it has this little clear acrylic bead. Oh, there's a clasp. Yeah, it has a lobster clasp. Oh, a double lobster clasp. I don't think I see any maker's marks. Oh, no, it's just a stylized, stylized jump ring. I thought it was two clasps for a minute. It's like, is that a lariat? <laughs> I'm just confused. <laughs> Let me get you length on that one. It's about 32 inches. I don't know if you could wear it double now. It looks too short to wear double. So it's 32 inches. And is this one a bracelet? Let me see. It's kind of tiny. I'm thinking this one's a bracelet. Nope, that's a short necklace. So it's got this really interesting 
filigree links. That's really cool. And it's got the spring ring. And then it looks like there's a little um, cross charm. Or is it the T? Oh, that may be the maker's mark. That, no, that looks like the letter T. So I'm not sure who that is. If you know who that maker is, the letter T charm, let me know in the comments. Um, I've only been doing this costume jewelry for four, four or five months, I guess since April or May. And although I used to own a bead store many years ago, and that was mostly making jewelry. Um, so I don't know that much about the costume jewelry. I mean, I'm trying to educate myself and I've got a couple of reference books. I've got one reference book. I have to show you another video that's got all the gemstones in it. And then I've got one that's just costume jewelry of the 60s, 70s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. Um, but I, when I went to look at reference books um, on Amazon, there's so many. And they can get quite pricey. So, you know, I've gone to my local library to check out some of the reference books. But um, it would be sure nice to win the lotto so I can buy <laughs> a whole library of custom jewelry books. <laughs> um, this one's coming in about 18 inches. So let me know if, um, are there any reference books that, um, you recommend? Uh, like I say, I try to budget, um, what do I have to get? I have to get the metal tester. I know those kits aren't that much money, but I need to get that. And I would like to get one of the Presidium gem testers, but I think they're in like the 250 to $300 range. And because I'm just doing this part time, um, you know, I haven't, had that many sales to justify a $300 gem tester at this point. So I have a little jewelry box full of things that I'm pretty sure are sterling silver and a few with gemstone to um, test out someday. <laughs> so this one's coming in about 18 or 19 inches. Just a nice little um, kind of thinner rope chain. Good classic piece for your wardrobe, where it is, or add a pendant to it. Now what's my cat doing? I'm going to have to take her out. She's looking like she's ready to get into something. <laughs> attack the jewelry, attack! <laughs> um, here's a plain chain. Yeah, this is more just a chain that I would definitely wear with a Pendant. I mean, you could wear it as is, but well, nothing that exciting to it. It's got a lobster clasp. Ooh, it looks like it's got a maker's mark. It says, hmm, it says China. Yeah, I think it just says China. Avon! Okay, it says Avon on the other side here and I might have it upside down yeah see she's starting to play the chain game <laughs> so this one measures about 30 inches okay cat how can I get you out because you I've got all my lights in the way come on to get rid of my fur baby mascot. That's Miss Shadow Kitty. I rescued her about a year and a half ago. She's a sweet companion, but all these dangly bits I think are too tempting for a kitty. <laughs> See, she was getting ready to pounce. Oh, here's another nice gold tone um, chain. This is the serpentine chain. And it's got this little blingy Rhinestone, clear rhinestone, and a fold over clasp. And let me see if it's got any maker's marks. Um, SP. Oh, this is another Avon piece. Hmm. I know I've got some other Avon pieces I'll list. I wonder if I should do an all Avon bundle. Are you a fan of Avon jewelry? Yes, no. 
No, it's not the highest price point, but I mean, this is kind of a classic piece. You can wear with just about anything in your wardrobe. You get a measurement on this one. It's about 15 inches. Yeah, this thing's good. I mean, at least for the for the video, it's kind of lightweight. Um, I don't do craft shows anymore. I mean, I'm thinking of possibly doing it, but I don't think I could sell the costume jewelry. I think it would have to be the pieces I make myself. Although I did go to my um, in Florida, our farmers markets run from around September or, or October to around March or April and there's one just about half a mile from my apartment and so it had its grand opening um two weeks ago in September which is earlier than normal usually they don't start until October but anyhow um I know they accept crafters but a lot of the crafters I saw there it looks like imports like one person was importing gold jewelry so maybe they would accept um you know, more of the collectible costume jewelry pieces. Um, I don't know, though. Florida's funny for jewelry and what they want to spend. And it's like, mm, if it's not real gold or silver. You know, years ago when I did the craft shows with my handmade beaded jewelry, I had okay luck selling the supplies and saying, hey, I have a store and I teach classes. And But when it came to buying the finished pieces hmm, not so much so <laughs> I don't know I, th I think it would be better for me to find like um I don't know like a flea market or like an antique sh well not an antique show because a lot of these pieces aren't that high of value um like what do they call it like the retro shows or the vintage shows not antique shows obviously a lot of this stuff is retro or vintage but um, I don't know. G give, draw me a line in the comment. Do you solely, if the people that sell the jewelry, not just collect it, um, do you sell, how do you sell? Are you selling online through eBay, Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, Cherish, etc.? Um, do you have a physical store, a retail store? Um, do you sell at any shows? I'd just be curious to know, um... I'm not saying I want to go back out to do the shows because that was always a lot of work where you have to set up the tent and put out your tables and all the display cases and then take out all the jewelry and um, yeah, I did that for many years with the beads and bead work. <laughs> but I, I'm always curious to see how people are selling or I know a lot of people are doing like the whatnot auctions or they're doing auctions directly through YouTube. I haven't really... Um, done that yet like I said I'm just kind of getting started with this and it's just a part-time basis but I always like to hear how other people are doing this is really cool like kind of a light white lightweight rope chain with this little um, mesh heart it's kind of fun don't see any makers marks I'll get you a length that's about 22 inches plus the length of the heart. Oh, here's another pair of earrings. Let's see these. I guess I knew in package. I have a couple of lots that I got that were um, like a 50 50 mix of. Nuon tag beads and jewelry findings and new in box and Nuon tag jewelry. So that's where this is going. Oh, that's different. That's what do you call that? Is that like a huggy? It doesn't have like a it's not like pierced ears. That's almost like a type of um, clip on. So I'm sure that has a name to it. I don't know. <laughs> Little cross earrings there. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. I'll put that back in your baggie. Right there. 
What else? Here we go. We have 15 minutes in. Hmm. Am I going to get through all this? I'm not sure. Didn't really want to do a part two, but it kind of gives you a gist of what's in this bundle. I think this has a maker's mark. This is a very interesting chain. I don't know what you call that. Let me know in the comments. What What is this called? I've never seen this design before. It's kind of cool. It's like 3D. Um, quite long. Let me get my jeweler's lid to see what this says. Korea. I don't know if that's going to come out. Yeah, my phone is acting up today. It doesn't want to focus. Hmm. <laughs> and this is about 30 inches long. Here's a tiny thin chain. Definitely needs to be in a bad year. This is the kind of chain that would get tangled on anything. So this is just a very plain chain. Like I said, you could wear it by itself, but to me, this is more of the type of chain you would add a pendant to it. Go spring ring clasp, and it looks like it's got a maker's mark. That says, oh, Sarah Cove, Sarah Coventry. Sarah Cove. inches so I don't know if this had a pendant or at one point the bundle I got it in it was just this plain chain um, but like I said if you've got pendants looking for a chain there you go here's another kind of serpentine chain mm, oh is that another Avon Yes, it's another Avon, but again, um, usually they have a pendant with it. Avon, it doesn't, no, it doesn't want to focus. Oops, that's kinked. So this is just a plain serpentine chain. Like I said, it probably had a pendant at one point, but now it's just a plain chain. Whereas is or with a pendant. And that's about 16 inches long. This thing's great. It has, I didn't see how many hooks it has on it. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> and you could hang more. I'm almost thinking, make, well, not that I'm doing shows, but you could put like bracelets here in between because um, they wouldn't be getting in the way of the necklaces. So you could just hook a bracelet. In each one, a bracelet or two in each one that might work. Now, always just trying to think of ways to display pieces for these videos, and you know, because I used to do the shows and I used to have a store, you never know what the future is going to bring, <laughs> never know where I'm going to end up. So, I'll never say never to having a store again. So I am in a one bedroom apartment. Um, that's kind of why I chose jewelry. It doesn't take up as much space. Um, I do have a few pieces of clothing and scarves listed on my eBay store, but I'm finding the clothing takes up way more room. Um, so I'm not going to go overboard with, um, buying clothing at the moment. Not to say that I wouldn't, but, um, for now living in a one bedroom apartment, I'm pretty much confined to doing small, smalls. Um, years ago, I had an eBay store where I sold more of this sort of stuff, the decorative collectibles. This is really hard to ship because it's very fragile, but also is big and bulky. You know, I could fit in probably 20, 30 pieces of costume jewelry and what one piece of ceramic is taking up. So, you know, that's why I'm always thinking, oh, do I need a warehouse? Do I need a store? Da, 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 don't know. Where's my crystal ball? <laughs> this is a very nice serpentine chain. Looks brand new. It's very good condition. Bright and shiny. And it's got this little rhinestone bar at the end. Well, let me see if this has a maker's mark. 
Mm. Oops, there you got any. That's a nice lobster claw clasp. Come on. Let me get you a measurement on this. It's about 16 inches. And then all these wooden display pieces you see in my videos. Um, I don't even remember where I got those. I got those years and years and years ago when I was doing the outdoor craft and bead shows. And so I've probably had them since my daughter was right around the time she was born or when she was walking. So she just turned 28, so I know these pieces are probably 20 or 25 years old. So, um, you know, I would guess just look up wood display pieces or some of these, not these. This is just plain untreated pine, same with this little display. These might be teak. I remember they were not cheap back in the day. Um, you know, a couple of the last shows I ever did, people were interested in buying the display pieces not so much the jewelry i was making so <laughs> uh, but they're nice pieces so i've kept them. i've got a whole a whole like container full of these pieces um i guess in the back of my mind i was thinking well maybe in the future i might go back to having a store here's another new on card piece i'm not going to even take it out it's kind of like that rose gold color Little pin, looks like tulips, some faux pearl, and icy rhinestone. Made in China, Bijou by Mira. Never heard of them, but it says it was originally $15. And here's a quite thin chain. I should be putting this in a plastic baggie so it doesn't get tangled up. Bright and shiny gold, and it's got this little charm is like a dove maybe like a little hammered metal ring and maybe a dove or something i don't think i see a maker's mark let's check just to be sure nope and this is how long are you i think it's about 18 inches long So can I double these up without them tangling? I think so. I don't have that many pieces left. Or I've been saying that for half an hour left. Now haven't I? Oh, almost done. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> 57 minutes? Yeah. Should be wrapping this up. Uh, another plain gold chain. Oh, it looks like it has a maker's mark. Another Avon piece. Again, this bundle had quite a few Avon pieces, but I think they mostly were just plain chains. So I'm not sure. Does Avon just make plain chains, or are these all just missing their um, pendants? Little spring ring clasp. Get that measurement on this. It's about 24 inches. Here's another serpentine chain. I'm not sure. Is that a... And a choker necklace doesn't look very long so this is thinner serpentine some of the um serpentine ones i've been showing you were um a lot bigger a lot wider this one's quite thin almost gives you the liquid gold effect so you could just wear it as is or pair it with your favorite pendant um has a spring ring class. Let me check to see if it's got a maker's mark. No, nope, don't see anything. I guess this is about 15 or 16 inches. Yeah, 16 inches. That's a nice one to add to your wardrobe. Oh, I have a pin. I don't know if anybody would ever wear this, but for um, nostalgic purposes, Mary Kay. <laughs> a little Mary Kay gold tone pin. That's fun. Do they sell Mary Kay anymore? I used to see it all the time and not so much lately, but doesn't mean that they're not still around. Ooh, this one. He is this tangled? Oh, it's like that other one. It's multiple, multiple 
multiple chains and does that say express yes express lobster clasp uh, is it one two three it's like six chains and see how they have these little kind of hammered areas look a little more shiny it's not a defect that's how the chain was made and then it's just chain that's been knotted and then so it has really long tassel Ooh, it's really long so I don't even think you need a clasp to get this over your head but it does have a clasp um, about 30 inches plus the knot and fringe give you another like six inches six or seven inches <clears throat> so quite long <clears throat> excuse me loosen my voice let me get a drink of water real quick <clears throat> okie dokie this is nice and pretty I think that's just a faux pearl on a gold tone chain spring ring clasp don't see any maker's mark quite short it's about 14 inches let's see what's this one look at this little rhinestone pendant so nice blingy rhinestone pendant with a little pendant bail nice little gold tone chain and spring ring clasp don't see any maker's mark and this is about 18 inches long Ooh, that was fun is that like real gold in there hmm is that worth something I don't know some gold dust it's like oh that's not even glass I think that's just like acrylic it's like a little pendant that uh, I wonder if you can open that and a little bit of real gold and this gold tone chain oops and it's got a knot. <laughs> I gotta get that out. Um, don't see any maker's marks on it. So put that to the side to try and untangle. What else do I want to do? I might just do two more. I, mean, I might get 10 or 12, but well, here's a fun chain. What's that called? I need like the book of chain. <laughs> I'm sure all these different styles have uh, names. Has a spring ring clasp. Um, don't see any maker's mark. That's fun. That's the kind of thing I would wear by itself. I mean, you could put a pendant with it, but it's kind of interesting looking. So you could just wear it as is. About 16 inches. Yeah, I'll do this big chunky one. Okay, it's got a big fold over clasp. Don't see any maker's mark. Big chunky chain. Nice. Let's see. This looks like about 18 inches, maybe. Yep, 18 inches for the chunky chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is there anything else? Maybe I'll do this one, will be my last one. That's real interesting looking. Like I said, um, if there's anything you've seen in this video that looks interesting that you might want to purchase, you can reach out to me. Um, I'm Lynn Smythe. Uh, my email 
Best email sales at the creative cottage dot net. Um, none of this is listed on eBay yet. So if you purchase through me from YouTube, I can cut you a deal because I don't have to pay the eBay selling fees. Um, just let me know what video you're watching, um, the approximate time stamp of the item you're interested in, like a brief description, and um, we can get the conversation started. This is about 15 inches, plus it has an extender. Um, real interesting, it's like these little bars with little balls at the end, and then looks like they're attached together. Oh, my kitty is meowing outside my bedroom door so pitifully. <laughs> so I think that's going to be it. There's just a couple more pieces here. Not that much. But this is my gold tone jewelry bundle. Um, there are a couple pieces I'm going to Google Lens to see if I can find out more information. But when I list this online on my eBay store... I'm going to fill this, make sure this is filled back up so it will be two and a half pounds of gold tone jewelry. A lot of chains, a few pairs of earrings, one Mary Kay pin, a couple of bracelets, some rings, but the majority are just some gold tone chains. It's good uh, basics to add to your wardrobe, but I'm going to price this, you know, this is going to be like a wholesale lot. Um, so thank you so much for watching uh, this gold tone jewelry bundle unboxing. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.